What is going on everybody? It is the Misfit Bear and I have some more Diablo 4 information for your viewing and listening pleasure. We have two things to discuss today. Two things. Now, Paladin, Barbarian, Sorcerer, Amazon, and Druid are planned for launch with more coming later. Blizzard wants people to feel like this is Diablo 2 all over again because apparently Diablo 3 was a humongous flop and I didn't even realize. But in a completely new era of the franchise, Blizzard were also debating whether to include the Druid or Necromancer class at launch. They decided for the Druid because the Necromancer was already released for Diablo 3. Did I not discuss this in my discussion video? I did. I speculated whether or not the Necromancer would actually be a class in the game, and I based it on the possibility of what? Mr. Gimme That Robe Because I Want It could possibly be Rathma. It has been confirmed that he is. Shout out to Reddit user Teko for this discovery. If you were to put the video, in an editing software, you'll see this little metadata. We're talking the good editing software, not the free editing software that I have to use because I'm broke and got no monies. But this right here, this moment, they go hand in hand. Reflection of Rathma in Cleric's eyes. So it is confirmed that that is Rathma. And I even gave speculations on why it would be and why it wouldn't be. So at the end of the day, my speculations, they weren't wrong, but they were maybe off by a quarter. I hit the microphone. They were off by a quarter because I did talk about a rogue class and I'm still heavy on that, okay? I'm still heavy on that because it just sounds like an amazing idea. But who knows? It could be and it could not be. The Amazon is obviously going to be the character for DPS. And I'm actually quite curious on how the Amazon is going to play this time. I'm very curious, especially with the fact that they're going to try to make it seem like Diablo 2 again. This ought to be fun. But back into the thought of Rathma, it's really funny how a guy who is so keen on the balance, you know, keeping these two sides, the heavens and the hells, from overshadowing one another. It's like, why would he go through the trouble of bringing back Lilith after Lilith has literally been sealed in the void twice, both by her man Inarius. Well, when you look at the Sin War, you take into consideration that the Angiris Council, the angels, are not really as good as their heavenly light would make you believe. Let me explain. The Angiris Council are the ones that want humanity gone because of the fact that they consider them a threat because of their Nephilim heritage. Despite having absolutely no memory of the Sin War because of a noble sacrifice, but at the same time, Tyriel, our man Tyriel, from Diablo 3, the fallen star brother, sent Heaven's armies down during the sin war that was the last battle of the sin war and because the heavenly host came from above the denizens of the burning hells came from below and you had humanity caught in the middle with angelic and demonic blood there was mass genocide on humanity because the heavenly host didn't differentiate demon from human. But that noble sacrifice is why Tyriel in Diablo 3 speaks up 
for humanity and even takes off his wings and relinquishes his power and that sick ass armor. That's why he did it. He wanted to assist in humanity's protection because the high angels, the good angels, didn't want to interfere. They didn't want to do anything. Imperius believed in having absolutely no involvement with the mortals. Interial saw otherwise. He no longer saw them as an abomination because he saw one man make a self-sacrifice. And self-sacrifice is by far one of the most noblest things anybody could ever hope to do. For anybody. Eventually, they all lost their memory. And all of the, you know, people that were lost during the Sin War, it was chucked up to be because of the plague. But at this point, humanity is kind of like how it is in real life. You have good and you have bad in you. But you make the choice as to which one you lean towards. Basically, the concept of free will became a thing. That's a good way to simplify it. But yeah, both of these things are confirmed so far. You know, I'm curious as to how the Amazon is going to play this come around, and I'm curious about the Paladin. You know, because the, the stuff about the Paladins... The, you know, the Crusaders, the Paladins, the Templars, there's a lot of stuff in there that is pretty daggum iffy. I said all of this in the discussion video already. It feels good to actually, you know, talk about something, to speculate something, to, you know, get knee deep into something. I usually have done it for just animes, but I've never been this serious about it, and I absolutely freaking love it. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call this episode here. This episode here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to end the video. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did not sleep well last night. I am exhausted right now. <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to bring these talking points to you. Definitely, you know, drop some comments down below if you have any more to add. You know, y'all stay safe out there. You know, uh, I, I am messing this whole video up. Uh, peace out.